What's up, YouTube? This is going to be our guide on how to use Typhlosion in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing some competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, let me know about it in the comment section. And if you enjoy this series, you want to support it, drop a like on the video and let's get into it. So Typhlosion is coming out in Scarlet and Violet as a raid, so... I guess by the time I have this video out, it should be around that time or a little bit before. So the first set you'll probably see a lot used on Typhlosion is a special set, and it's a trace spec set. So when you have a look at its uh, stats, you have a look at its speed and its special attack. So they're the two highest stats that it currently has, you know, unless it gets a four or something in the future. So you really want to be working these two stats here. So on its special side... It's got some decent moves, but it's not like... I wouldn't call it like a really uh, wide move pool sort of Pokemon, especially on this uh, special side. So we've got the abilities Flash, Fire, and Blaze, so nothing really amazing out there. However, with the Terra, uh, Terra Grass, it actually opens up some new possibilities. So you could go Terra Grass and have Flash Fire. So you've got that uh, fire immunity, which is really, really cool. Also, it allows you water-type Pokemon, ground, and rock-types, which normally would uh, you know, really mess up the Typhlosion. So the moves I've got in here, of course, we've got Terra Blast because we want to be a Grass Terra. Nice bit of surprise there, too. We've got Eruption. Now, you can either go Eruption or Fire Blast or Flame Try. Kind of depends on what, uh, you know, what your team is going for and stuff. And running this on a Sun team is always really good. So something like, you know, Torkoal with uh, Drought is already a uh, really, really nice scene. So Eruption is a very, very powerful pace, uh, base power move. We've got 150 base here. And as, obviously, your health goes down, obviously, the power of Eruption goes down. But if you're... Really bringing this in to do a lot of damage, you can go ahead and use it for sure. Now, I've given this one modest. You could give it timid if you want. If you're a little bit scared of getting outsped by things here, I, I'd give it timid. But you do lose out on a fair bit of special attack. Sort of up to you on your team. If you've got something on your team that has like sticky web or speed control, uh, tailwind, stuff like that. You know, you could use Modest. That could be an option. So both of them hit really, really hard there. But if you're worried about having Eruption as your only Fire-type move, you could go ahead and give it Fire Blast if you want to as well. That definitely would work. You do have a little bit of uh, you know damage difference, of course. You know, you've got Fire Blast at 110, and then you've got like Eruption at 150. So there is a very, very... You know, big difference there. But yeah, that's the first one I want to show you. That's the uh, choice spec set. You'll probably see that the most. Uh, back in the day, uh, you know, Typhlosion hasn't been the main series games for a while. And uh, we don't count Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. And that had Hidden Power Grass. So having Terra, Terra Blast Grass is really nice. Focus Miss is... It's just Focus Miss and Shadow Ball are there for coverage, really. You're not really going to be using them too often. Um, you know, most of the time, you're going to be using a fire move or a grass-type move, and, you know, a water-type Pokemon comes in, you know? Um, so they're more coverage moves, per se, on Typhlosion, but it is kind of shallow on the special side for its move pool. I will go over its full move pool as this video goes on. So that's going to be your first set. You're going to see a lot uh, with Typhlosion. Now, the next set I've got here is kind of similar. However, we're making use of Life Orb instead. So you don't, you don't really have to lock your Typhlosion into one move. Plus, we're using Fire Blast. Now, we've got Fire Blast, which is going to be your fire move. We've got Terra Blast, Grass, which is very nice at Flash Fire. So, you know, it's it's great for baiting, pretty much. You can go for that uh, Grass, Terra, take out the Rock type. Oh, a Fire type comes in. Oh, you're going to boost up your Fire type move. So, it's a good little troll there, for sure. I've got Focus Blast. And also get Extra Sentry, which is pretty cool. Now, Extra Sentry is more of a filler move. But then again, Shadow Ball is more of a filler move, too. So, whatever your team needs. If you need a coverage move for Ghost Types, put it on there. Oh, you know, I need a, uh, my team's a little bit weak to side, uh, sorry, fighting. Oh, we'll put an extra sentry on there. Stuff like that. Plus, it can also uh, have a, a chance of flinching too, which isn't all that bad, I, I guess. So, that's up to what you've really got in your team. Or if you've got like a poison type Pokemon, you can hit that for super effective, which is nice. So, extra sentry does give that a uh, little bit of option there. But that's its best psychic. It doesn't get like psychic or anything like that. So, that's its best psychic move on the special side. Now, the next set we got here is going to be a double set. So... Doubles can work kind of similar here. Now, I've put two options for fire moves on here. So, first we've got Heat Wave. Now, of course, this is going to be really, really good in like a... Um, 
in a Sun team, right? Um, sorry about my voice. So it's, uh, my, my voice is a little bit of tired. I did a very long stream today. Um, yeah, but you can use this with Torkoal and Drought. It's going to be really, really handy for sure. Uh, you've also got Eruption too. So that's going to be hitting both the opponents. And it's going to be hitting a lot harder than Heat Wave for sure. The only thing is, um, if you do start using Eruption and you take damage, uh, Eruption is going to be, you know, Weaker and weaker and weaker. So you might want to have an option of having both of these moves on there. If you want to, because it doesn't really get a lot of special moves. So it's not a bad option. The other move I gave us, of course, was Terra, Terra Blast Grass with Flash Fire. Honestly, I feel like this is its best Terra move. If you can come up with something better or, you know, I don't know, something like uh, a little bit different, let me know about it in the comment section. But I really feel this is... Uh, this is going to be working well on Typhlosion. So the other move again would Protect too. That's quite handy for doubles to have Protect there. You know, say any Fake Out users that are going to try and drop your health before you use Eruption, that's going to be really, really handy to have. Uh, I've given this Flash Fry, of course. We've got Heavy Duty Boots as an item too. Look, you could use a lot of the items I already had there. I mean, Heavy Duty Boots is good. Uh, you know, Stealth Rocks and Entry Hazards and stuff like that. Um... Yeah, if you run Life Orb, you are going to probably run into... You are going to take damage. Eruption will get exponentially weaker. So maybe you might want to use Expert Belt. That's not a bad item on Typhlosion either. You got that. Uh, you got Charcoal as well. If you really focus on that extra fire moves, you got that Charcoal there as an item. Uh, Lumber is another good one too. That's more for like, you know, Thunder Wave users and stuff like that, to, you know, having to worry about those. But yeah, uh, the EVs I've given this are exactly the same. We've got Tim and Nature here and Max Special Attack. You want your speed for Eruption too, see? That would be what I would suggest. And, you know, you swap your Torkoal in and then you go you know, Torkoal and Typhlosion lead. And then you can go for Eruption or for Heat Wave, what do you, uh, whatever you're doing there, right? Or you can go for a Terra, uh, Terra Type Grass, you know, on any like Rock and Water, uh, sorry, Rock Water Pokemon and stuff like that. Very, very handy for sure. But these sets are pretty much all very, very similar, except, um, you know, when you change the format around, it's a little bit different, but... Normally, you're using Eruption too. The only one that's extra there is probably like, you know, Heat Wave uh, for those. So that's more, these three sets here are probably going to be your most competitive sets you'll see on when you see Typhlosion, of course, and when you're expecting it. Mostly, I'd say for singles, you see the Choice Spec set. And, you know, when you get the doubles, you'll see these, uh, you know, these variants of Eruption or maybe Heat Wave. But even Choice Specs is going to be quite good in doubles too. Just fire off that um, Eruption there for sure. Um, this one does open up some opportunities having Protect too. So you can protect yourself from fake out users and stuff like that. All right, the next one here we got is a Berry Blazing set. How about this one? So... This is based around the Blaze ability. So I've gone over, I like to explore everything about Pokemon, not just the best strategies and easiest strategies to use. I like to explore absolutely everything. So we're going to dive in to have a look at Blaze here. So Flash Fire is probably the best, but Blaze can be handy. Now with this set, we've got a Substitute Potato Berry set. So we're going to be subbing down and getting that Blaze, which is going to be powerful for our fire type moves. And we've also got Potato Berry to increase our special attack even more than it already is. So I see this working pretty well. We've got Timber Nature, of course, because we want to be going first. And, uh, you know, with that, it's almost like running Modest Nature after you get that uh, Potato Berry boost up there or a little bit more. So it's quite nice. And Blaze as well, so it's even more powerful. So we've got Fire Blast, of course. We've got Focus Mist and Terra Blast Grass. Like, I do love to run Terra Blast Grass on these sets because it just simply works really, really well. Now, you could opt to run Focus Blast or get rid of it and give it Shadow Ball or Extra Sentry too. That could definitely work because it's not really needed all that much except I think the best use of Focus Blast would be on a normal type Pokemon, you know? Um, you've already got Terra Blast Grass for Rock Types and Ground Types, so... You know, you could free yourself up there. But I will go for special moves in a sec there. So that's another um, another option there for Typhlosion if you want to go a Potato Berry. It's quite powerful. You could go Modest too, but I, I feel like having Timid's probably the best on there for sure. Now, you've got another set here. I, want, I do want to mention this because I know this is going to be mentioned in the comments section. So, let me adjust my microphone. So... With Eruption, going first is very, very important. So you could run a Choice Scarf set as well. So you could go Choice Scarf on this and opt to go for Modest. That's going to be hitting really, really hard still. And you're going to be going fast. So 
that's a definite option there instead of spec. So with Eruption, and you're just going to fire it off. It's going to be doing heaps of damage. Even resisted Pokemon are going to get hit very hard, especially if you've got the Drought up there. Um, you could also, there is the option of setting up your own Sunny Day too. A Typhlosion does get Sunny Day, but I would recommend a Sun Team for sure. But even neutral hits will do a lot of damage in the Sun for uh, whether you're running Specs or Choice Scarf Typhlosion. Okay, where are we up to? Oh, here we go. We got an next. This is a bit of a Pip Night special here. Got a couple of meme sets, as promised. Okay, so with this Typhlosion set, we've got a mix set. Do you like the nickname? I think it's pretty cool. So we've got How. How is its one of its only ways to actually boost its attack? Now, Typhlosion doesn't really have a good attack set. As you can see, it's got 84 base, which is... Yeah, it's kind of rubbish, so you kind of need to run, uh, give it a little bit of help here. So you could go fully physical if you wanted to. I've, I've got another physical set coming up with Curse, but um, this is like a mix set. So we've got How. So How's going to boost its attack, and with Throat Spray attached, it's going to max. Uh, it's going to give it a, um, a special attack boost there. I wish it maxed it. So we've got like a mix set. So Fire Blast, of course, is a very powerful fire type move there. And we've got Earthquake for any steel... Rock types, electric types, stuff like that. And we've got Terra Blast Grass. Uh, sorry, Terra Electric for any water type Pokemon. So a little bit of a different set there, but you know, it's 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 some fun surprise. Now I've given this some EVs. As you can see, I've given it max speed, but we've given it naive nature because we want to drop its uh special defense or defense. It could go naive or hasty, it doesn't you know, it doesn't really matter all that much. I wanted to boost its attack, though, to max because uh, it's already got good special already. So I just popped the last EV into special attack and max its attack. So, you know, when you use How, they're virtually all like the same. It's going to make it a pretty reasonable special attacker, you know, after a plus one in attack and special attack. It's not going to be like broken, but it could be like a fun mid to late game sweeper if you, you know, you feel like, oh, I can get a Howl up here. This is a good like, matchup and stuff like that. So. There you go. It's a fun little set to try. Um, so let's have a look at it's a, a physical set. So interesting enough, Typhlosion gets cursed. Where a lot of Pokemon don't get cursed because they needed like virtual console and stuff like that. But you know this seems to get it. So we've got Curse here. Um, we've got Curse and White Herb. So we're going to be going for a Curse to boost up its attack. Now with How, this actually gives more benefits than How. So it actually gives us a defense boost. Now, with the White Herb, that's going to get rid of our Speed Drop, which is going to be very, very handy. Uh, Howl is better in case you can use it, like, over and over and over. So, whatever you want to use here. I wish it got Acrobatics, because that would be pretty good, too. But we've got Flare Blitz, a powerful physical-type move. Earthquake, we've already explained why. You know, good coverage for Rock, uh, you know, Electric. Other Fire Types, stuff like that. And we've got Wild Charge, too. So, I've got Wild Charge as basically the hit Water-type Pokemon. So, you could go Terra Electric here if you wanted to you know, to power that up, but, you know, just be wary when you use, like, especially Flare Blitz and Wild Charge, they're going to be doing, like, a lot of damage, like, recall damage to you, so you could go, uh, Fire as well, so that's another one, I mean, you could do the Grass as well, you could go Terra Blast Grass, that's always an option you could go for, Terra that, I'm, not, I'm trying to think of another good Terra type, let's say, for example, we ran Terra Blast, so that is weak to grab. I mean, you could do flying as well. That's not bad, but I feel like it's going to be kind of like outclass. So, yeah, probably not flying. Definitely not ice. That'd be bad. Uh, water. How about water? Yeah, Terra Blast water. That's another good one you could use just, just in general for a Terra type, you know. You've got another fire type coming in. So I'm looking at specs there. That's a, that's basically the main premise of this physical set here. we got Jolly, Max Attack, and Max Speed. So not too bad there. Blaze is the ability. Another good option here, I want to mention this right now. So we could go, let's adjust it to water. Yeah, so we've got water. So water's going to hit other fire types. It's going to hit other ground types, other rock types. That's good. You know, that's also a very, very good one as well. So water or grass. So whatever one you want, you know, whatever's going to be slotting into your team, I think will be quite good. But the only bad thing is if you don't use... You won't get those baits on Flash Fire if you go water, because no one's going to use a fire move on a water-type Pokemon, right? So that's why... That's still why I reckon Grass is better coverage, and you can also supplements the Flash Fire ability. So it's very, very unique having Flash Fire and having that Terra Grass to, to uh, you know, bait up the opponent. And then after... Say if the opponent did use a fire move while you were in Terra-type Grass, 
you actually get an additional 1.5 times um, on your fire moves, right? And you get fire immunity on top of that. So what a great ability to run with Terra Grass. So yeah, th there we go. That's our Typhlosion. Let's go over its its um its its like move pool and stuff like that because I wanted to show you some stuff and have some last minute thoughts. So firstly, let's have a look at its special. So, as you can see for its special, it is barren. It really is barren. So, we've got stuff. We've gone over Eruption, uh, Fire Blast, Extra Sentry, Flamethrower. We've sort of gone over those moves already. So, we've got fire, Focus Miss. Now, it does get Lava Plume, which you might be able to run in doubles with Flash Fire. That could work as well. So, that's another option for those for your doubles players. Uh, it gets overheat, which is a good move, but after, you know, continually using it, I think it's outclassed by Fire Blast and Eruption, you know, so probably no reason to use that unless you're going for some crazy critting set. Uh, we went over Shadow Ball. We've gone over Terra Blast. Obviously, Grass and Water are going to be the best. And uh, we do have Solar Beam. Now, Solar Beam can be beneficial in a Sun Team, so that frees you up from Terra Blast Grass. So that could be an option too, but you'd have to run it with a Sun Pokemon or you'd have to do something like Power Herb. Not Power Herb, Power Herb. Yeah, sorry, my spelling is uh is off the charts today. So, but yeah, we've got Power Herb there, Solar Man. You know, you, you, your other generic sort of moves you'd run on Typhlosion. So um, that's the only time I'd probably run that. Let's break its status moves down. They're very... Well, once again, this Pokemon's... I like Typhlosion, but man, it, it didn't get a lot of like... It's, it's very, very barren. So we've got Cursia. Uh, we've got Protect. We've gone over that. Rest, Sleep, Talk. I was thinking about running a Rest, Sleep, Talk, like Flame Charge, Bulky Set. We might make that up in a set. It gets will o -Wisp. That's another decent move that it gets. Um, is it really... You'd have to make like sort of like a bulky set. Uh, we got helping hand as well. Gets that defense curl. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty barren to, to be perfectly honest. Let's have a look at its physical. Now, funnily enough, its physical is not barren at all. It gets a lot of moves. Like look at all these moves. So it's it's it might be fun to try and make a physical set. So we've got uh body body slam, brick break, dig, and double edge. Not anything really amazing there. Uh, the best move it gets for ground is earthquake, and we already used that already. I uh, got flare blitz. It gets iron head for any um any rock type Pokemon. That's that's quite good as well. You need your fairies and stuff. Not that you're probably struggling with fairies too much, but yeah, uh, we get wild charge for water type Pokemon, of course. And yeah, it sort of sorts of, you know sort of goes downhill from there. We've got uh, Aerial Waste as flying moves. You got Garabol. I don't know why you'd ever want to run Garabol and Typhlosion unless you're made like a, a slow set. Uh, we've got Reversal, which is not too bad, I guess. If you want to run like a meme set, like a one health set, that might. Uh, let's run a one health set. I got a good idea. All right, let's. I'm doing this completely on the fly. So let's go for weakness policy. We're going to go physical here, baby. All right, here we go. We've got that physical. Let's get physical here. So we're not going to use flare blitz. We've got flame charge. It's not bad. Fire punch. Hmm. Flame charge is good for speed. So I'm thinking speed over. Okay, we either, we got flame charge or fire punch. I'm thinking like blaze flame charge is going to be pretty good. All right, we'll do blaze flame charge. Cool. Because we, we won't... We're not doing special that. We're doing physical one. Now, you could do this for special if you wanted to as well. I'm not saying you can't. If you want to really deliberately activate the um, the Blaze ability. I want Adamant because I'm going to need everything I've got here. So, we've got Endure, I think. Yep, Endure. Perfect. And this is going to hit a fair bit. So, we're probably... Ghost-type Pokemon or something like that. That could be... Uh, well, I mean, let's have a look at some of these other moves. So, Thunder Punch. I guess Thunder Punch would be... Our best coverage or Terra Blast Grass. The only thing about that is we won't be able to do the little flare, uh, flare um, a little trick there with the Flash Fire. Sorry, Flare Fire. Uh, yeah, so probably probably like a Thunder Punch, but this is more of like a, a gimmicky set, you know, like this is something you want to use um, for a bit of surprise. So there you go. It's a Pipnite special, but I think it's going to work. Uh, just drop the uh, last little bit into defense and stuff there for Andrew Hazard reasons and stuff like that. So we've got Reversal, Flame Charge, Endure, and Thunder Punch. Terra type. Ooh, Terra type fire. Okay, you can either do Terra type fire or you can even go fighting. That'd be that'd be interesting getting that um that fighting reversal going because reversal is a very very powerful move. You know, extraordinarily powerful. Uh, that 200 base power there with fighting would be a lot. Or you've got blaze and flame charge. Or if you don't care about your speed, you could go fire punch too. But 
Yeah, that, there's an option of fighting or fire at the same time there for Typhlosion. Let's have another little look out. Oh, I forgot to say, let's do some team, let's do some team, um, you know, counters is pretty obvious, but we'll do some teammates. So, if you want to use Typhlosion, the best Pokemon to use it with would be Torkoal. Because Torkoal obviously has got the, uh, we don't want that white smoke. We want that drought, right? So any sort of drought Pokemon is going to be good. Sun teams, you know. So it's very, very good for sun teams. Now, a good partner for Typhlosion is Dondozo. If you've got a, a, any fat water type Pokemon like Dondozo, is going to be good, you know. So it can resist those ground type moves, those water type moves, all that sort of thing, right? It's going to be a great kind of partner. Let me bring up some more water type Pokemon here. Let's have a little bit of a look, see. Uh, okay, a Zerberal's not all that bad either. Oh, Rotom Wash, that's quite good. So Rotom Wash is, is very good because it's got Levitate, so you can get around any of those ground-type moves, and then you can hit hard back with a water-type move, and then, you know, say if you've got a bad matchup, you can just go Volt Switch. So Rotom Wash, that's a good one too. Very, very nice. Um, and think of some more things here, say... I think, I'd say the Dondozo and, and Rotom are pretty good, too. All right, so we got Greninja. That's another, that's, that's all right, too. Oh, I'm just trying to think. Gyarados, yeah. Very, very good. So Gyarados, the only bad thing is Gyarados is weak to rock, though. That's, that's something you sort of have to be wary of there. But it could swap in. Same with Pelipper. But then again, Pelipper, you, you probably wouldn't want to be running Pelipper and Typhlosion on the same team unless you're going for like a uh, oh no, a different sort of weather team. But yeah, that's a, definitely a couple of our options there. If you've got any more you can suggest them, feel, feel free to in the comment section, of course. Um, Alola Mola, that's a, that's sort of, it's sort of like mini Dondozo, Alola Mola, it's just a, it's just a really fat fish Pokemon, it can tank a lot of hits there, and you know, you can spread status and things like that, I don't want to get too much into Alola Mola, Bill, but that's another good partner for it, for sure, um, if you want to be using this, um, as for counters, look, any rock or ground type Pokemon is going to destroy, Garganackle could destroy that too, because like, Outside of, let's say it's got Purifying Salt, Shadow Ball is going to do Donkeys. It's going to need to use Focus Mist, but Garganackle can just, like, destroy it with even its most basic moves. Can destroy, like, um, like Stone Mist, an Earthquake, a Salt Cure, any moves like that are going to destroy it. A bulky Water-type Pokemon as well. We've already seen some of the Dondozo. Anything that outspeeds Typhlosion as a Water-type, it, it, it's not exactly hard to counter, you know what I'm saying there, but... Yeah, I, I think that sort of covers our set all the way there for Typhlosion. Um, to sum Typhlosion up here, it's a fast special attacker with a limited move pool on the special side. If you want to open things up to the physical side, it's going to be fun, but it's not going to hit very hard. You're going to have to use like... You know, you're gonna have to use like Howl and things like that. Um, it's a, it's quite a powerful eruption Pokemon though, so it's not to be underestimated there. It's very fast. Um, if it got the sun up there, um, it could be a good mid to late game sweeper, doing a lot of damage there with eruption. And if it's one shotting you with eruption, uh, you're gonna have a lot of problems. You're gonna need some sort of counters there, like rock and water type Pokemon to get around it. Basically, uh, it's sort of it's gonna for me. It's gonna depend on what Terra type this is gonna have, but. I do see Terror Blast Grass used a lot for that bait flash fight. Now, it wouldn't be surprised if that's like the norm on Typhlosion anyway. But uh, if this guide helped you out, if you've got any other suggestions, put them below in the comment section there. If you enjoyed it, drop a like on the video, people. Um, I think by the time this stream has been out, I might be doing the Typhlosion raids on my channel stream or whatever. Awesome Pokemon Stadium. I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm just sort of doing this video in advance. All right, people, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.